Hello vapors, today we are going to unbox and have a quick play with the Black Mamba Dry Herb Vaporizer. The Black Mamba is quite possibly the most popular budget dry herb vaporizer in the UK currently and it's famous for providing a perfect balance between performance and value. Despite its low price, it covers all the vape fundamentals very well. Its battery can reach its highest temperature in just 20 seconds and it boasts a ceramic oven and a food grade glass air path meaning that vapor you inhale does not come into contact with any plastics or metals at any point. So in the box we have a USB 2 charger, cleaning brush and multi-packing tool, no one likes a dirty vape. The food grade glass mouthpiece. Glass is one of the best materials for conducting steam without affecting the taste of your herbs. And finally, the Black Mamba vaporizer itself. The Black Mamba is an eye-catching vaporizer due to its unique shape, but what impressed me most was its build quality. It has a real solid weight to it and it fits together really well due to its individual parts being well crafted. It can be operated fully with just the button on its side making it perfect for all you vape virgins and its wide bottom hides a powerful battery that will turn your herbs into mist in less than 20 seconds flat. Its ceramic oven is one of the biggest ovens on the market. It holds up to 0.65 grams which is more than enough for multiple vaping sessions. This is a good thing or a bad thing depending on your self-discipline. So we turn on the black mamba by pressing the power button five times. The green light on the front and the red light on the side will turn on to indicate it's ready to be used. There are five red lights, each representing a temperature between 180 and 220 degrees Celsius. You can then set the temperature you want by holding the power button until the red bars fill up. The green light on the front indicates the oven is on. As the vaporizer heats up, those red lights turn green. Wow, look how quick it's reached its max temperature. To turn it off, you just press the power button five times again, and that's it, it's really that simple.